Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I gotta get this thing built. Procrastination is my middle name. Um, gotta get it going. Um, been helping Ruthie now with her 29. Got some paint shot on it. Well, she did. Um, now, I've got to focus my attention on this because Jack's Con is just around the corner, literally. Today's uh, the 21st of January, Saturday the 21st. And it's, uh, Jack's Con is on February the 11th. Now, you know, theoretically, that's plenty of time, but I don't work on things out here very, very long. I do a lot of videos, but they tend to be just short videos. Uh, don't get a lot of bench time in, but I got to get some on this because uh, the engine is painted, kind of ready to assemble. The body is ready to paint. It's going to get some white. I'm just going to go with uh, gloss white. It's just regular basic white. Um, and then if it's too bright, I can go over it with a, some other shade of beige or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to get the, the camera set up. We'll shoot some paint on this and uh, we'll see how that goes. Stand by. So got a coat of paint um, on the GTX and it looks awesome. I love it. White's cool. Uh, but the I just this MCW paint. It's just it lays down so darn nice. Again, I don't know if is it the is it just the, is it the paint <laughs> or is it the the leveling thinner, but it gives such a gloss such a gloss anyway i need to put this down yeah it's uh very nice i see a few little couple little specks of stuff that got in the body but as far as the body goes too just slick as glass i don't know if i'll need a second coat because of being over gray primer you know it might look like it's uh, bleeding through a little bit but anyway we will see I should have shot white primer on it don't know what the heck I was thinking with the gray I've got white primer too but anyway that looks good there's my homemade firewall in there same body color and I was I was sure to paint the inside of the fenders because it's open fender wells there's no inner fender wells so you'll see that so I wanted to make sure I got paint in there but yeah Turned out nice. So we will see. It may need a wet sanding and a second coat. Don't know. But anyway. Now what I got to do. I also got. They're all piled up right here. I had to lend Ruthie my pegboard thing. But all my interior, my interior pieces. Oh I was going to mention one other thing. Where's it at? I got my. Uh, my. My. Chrysler style wheels that I got from Alan Qualls. I got um, them painted black and I painted the tires. So here's here's one with the uh... oh you stupid thing. Come on. There's one right there with the uh, black paint before chrome and the tires I uh, painted look cool as can be <clears throat> but I started mocking it up <coughs> excuse me and I noticed they were kind of small so I called Alan and we worked it out but anyway here's one that I painted 
and uh, these things are going to look so cool on it. But it's the stock style wheel, you know. But they're uh, low profile, and he gave he's made me some that are a little bigger diameter. <coughs> Excuse me, because it being 124 scale, it just kind of swallowed these up. They didn't they didn't fill up the uh, this is the front tire, but it didn't fill up the fit the um, wasn't enough tire. These were the original ones I was going to use. And uh, I decided to, to go with these. But you can see there's a size difference even. There's not much. But he's uh, he's got me some coming that are actually, I think, a little bigger than these. So they're going to gonna be cool. But they're, they'll be the same style tire and wheel as this uh, chrome one here. Anyway. Yeah, so I got my rear end painted. My interior's painted. I got to get it together and... I've got to detail paint it. <clears throat> One thing that um, we were on a Patreon live stream last night, and Jason Blue Ox Model Shop, Jason was on there, and he said that he had a tr had trouble with his interior tub when it went up in the body, that the um, edges of the tub here didn't fit and reach the actual sides of the body, and I noticed that too when I was fitting mine. I, I put the windshield and all in it to fit all these things up in there to make sure everything's going to fit right before I painted the body. <clears throat> and I think what I'm going to do to try and correct that is when I mount my dash or even before the, I mount the dash, I'm going to take a piece of styrene or something and go under the dash here and uh, wedge this thing out a little bit just to take up that space. Well, I got it wedged for sure and I got the so I'm going to do that and fit it in there a couple of times to make sure that this edge is um, lining up with the edge of the car or the inner por portion of the door. But yeah, there's some uh, little things that need to be detail painted. Like I think those little buttons in the center there would be chrome. Um, the I've got the detail all this in here. Flat black, the... Uh, um, the the carpet so it won't be just all the same color that's a semi-gloss black and then the door pa door panels and dashboard and things like that so i got to get those things detailed painted um got the seats seats painted yeah i went with black um seats instead of a white interior um i, I just like i think it's a great contrast a nice a nice uh almost glossy black seat plenty of armor all on it inside that white car with the big chromed out uh hemi sticking out of the hood it's going to be awesome got the rear axle painted and the chassis is still yet to be painted because <clears throat> whenever alan I'm, alan's got those wheels out in the mail and i wanted to wait to paint this because i've still got to drop my, or raise my spindles and i don't want to do that yet with out having the exact tire that I'm going to put up under it. But anyway, I did sort of mini tub it. I, uh, if you hadn't already seen the other videos, the placement of the leaf springs used to be on the outside of the frame rails, and I shortened the axle so it will be the mounting points are on the inside of the frame rails, and uh, that worked out just right. So that will give me uh, plenty of room for, for those deeper style tires. So that's going to be nice. And uh, yeah, that's about all we got done right now. I am a little envious though of Ruthie. If I can get this thing to focus again. I painted my engine block gold. This was actually um, Alclad gold, but it had zero shine to it. It was even on a black base, shiny black base. But then she painted hers alclad titanium gold and it turned out like glossy and this really cool color and i'm envious of her maybe i'll just swap <laughs> i'll just swap blocks with her she'll never know it's the same engine but yeah hers turned out great she did if you hadn't seen the other video she she painted her um she painted her chrome pieces and it's like she's been doing it for years. It just went on there flawlessly. And I've tried and tried and tried to get it right and, and have failed. But, um, yeah, she did a great job. But 
I don't know if I showed you this the last video or not, but I got the can't show me anything, Matthew. The stupid camera don't work right. But anyway, I got some chrome in there. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to get some things together, mainly the engine, and uh, wait on those tires to get here, so then I can get the chassis all mocked up and painted. And then we can start assembling this thing. Hopefully the paint is going to be uh, as nice as it looks right now. And uh, we shall see. All right, so let me get to work. And as always, let me tell you to stand by. All right, well, there's the train. There we go, perfect timing. I got the body painted and the pinstripe uh, decals on it. Um, I went with, okay, so I had gloss white. Oh, where'd it go? Let me grab it. I painted it gloss white and it was just dark, bright white. And I don't think you can really tell much by this, this video, but I, uh, I painted it, um, went back and painted it al alpine white, which was a little more of a, just a tad more creamier color than it was and it turned out really nice so I got my decals on it oh you stupid camera and they look nice just got those on um, I got to foil the, the uh, windows so I'll be doing that once the decals get good and dry foil the windows I have been working on my engine last segment it was just in pieces still so I've been trying my best to be neat about my plug wires. So I've got the plug wires on one side. I was actually going to use boots, but I got it thinking in Jason Hanscom, Blue Ox Model Shop, Jason, he's like, I don't think they had boots on those. They went down inside there and they did. So I didn't use the boots. I just, I got the plug wires running down in it. I'm using these little teeny photo etch, uh, where are they? Like you can see them right in front of the engine. That's not a crumb. See that little thing? You were talking about something that is a pain in the butt to work with. That is. So, got to get the engine finished, but it's almost done. Oops. Uh, the headers, which I am so stinking proud of. Let me get this around here. Where did it go? Yeah, I mean, I see that header there. I'm talking about this one. The one that fits this side of the engine. I posted a picture of it on Facebook, but I heat stained them. Man, I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So I used a little transparent blue from Alclad, and I used transparent orange just a little after it uh, to me a paint, and I think that's going to look nice. Unfortunately, you ain't hardly going to see the headers. But you'll be able to see them a little bit. Oh, one other thing. Oh, you crazy camera. It's, you know, guys, all this time I've been thinking it was a, my camera's a piece of junk. It don't know what to focus on. Look at this. If I had it like in a white background, um, why didn't I do that? That would have been smart. Um, let me see. What can I do? Thinking, thinking. Got the paper towel right here. Let me lay this down over here so we can actually see what's going on because this is ridiculous how this thing's so hard to focus. You should have thought that one out a little bit more, Matthew. Yeah, probably so. All right, so we'll put this over here. My chair squeaks. And then what I wanted to show you, so my friend Alan Qualls is the guy who printed me these awesome Mopar wheels but when I started fitting them I was like it's not big enough it's out of scale I think they're like 125th scale so I called Alan we worked it out anyway it's the back one I've got the back one not the front one we worked it out he made me another set now this is for the back not the front I didn't think about that he made me this set same style wheel but much bigger and it's going to fall apart because of nothing's glued together and these 
are way awesome. That's going to be so darn cool. So yeah, something like that. Up under it. Oh man, that's cool. Thank you, Alan, for that. People have asked me, where'd you get those wheels from? I got them from my friend Alan. And Alan doesn't, he doesn't sell his 3D printed stuff for certain reasons. And I have to respect that. Um, but I do appreciate him doing that for me. Anyway, so. You know, these are supposed to be, let me turn you around here. Glasses off, turn around. And let me see if I can touch this because I can't tell if it's... These cars are supposed to be um, revealed for the final video on March the 15th. It got stretched out from uh, January 15th. Wow, I blew that one. This one's nowhere near done. It's way past that, but Mark Batson had an accident and injured himself, and we had to prolong it, which is good because I could procrastinate just that much longer. But... Um, we're not supposed to, as far as our group build goes, we're not supposed to like reveal the thing until that date. And if I keep doing these update videos up near completion, it's going to kind of give it away. So I think this will probably, probably end my progress with the car. Um, not a lot of progress to this point, but there's a lot to be done. But because the paint's on now, I gotta foil it, uh, get the engine completed. Everything's ready to, to go together. Now they got those wheels, get them painted. Um, I don't know if I'll do a video on the wheels or not. Probably not, but probably in this video right here. And where'd it go? Darn, I can't see. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look nice. I love my pinstripe. I'll turn it back around here. I love my pinstripe. Get out this darn chair it makes all kind of noise and how it looks that looks so cool and i think i like white on this i think it's going to look just awesome where's the hood got the hood around here somewhere it's painted white too where in the heck is the hood at don't know have i lost it yeah oh here it is yeah you've lost it all right matthew so there's the there's the awesome hood ready to go on after I get that stick off of it that holds it for paint but yeah so this video I think we're gonna wind her up what you got to do so what have I still got to do still ain't got nothing done on the chassis but all I got to do is paint it paint it put the wheels on that interiors painted um, need some needs some detail painting and I think I'm gonna do some seat belts I got this seat belt got from market hobby nut models I do lay some seat belts on the floorboard. Like I say, got the engine looking good. Got chrome parts painted, bumpers, all this stuff that I needed to chrome. I got chromed. All I need to do now is uh, paint my my wheels and get them on there, and the windshield in it, and you know, just the, the little things, the little things that you know that that take. 99% of the time to complete. That's all I got. That's all I've got left. Today's the 25th of January, and I have till the 11th. Not to mention that Ruthie's car is in total shambles. Paint looks awesome though, but uh, we got to get hers together. We have got to get it together. So we will do that work this weekend on getting these together and her painting is nearly all done so it's just basically assembly too but anyway rambling on sorry thank you for watching this little series uh don't forget on sorry that chair is annoying on the 15th of march march 15th yes um which ruthie's birthday is march the 19th so you guys can wish her a happy birthday around march the 19th um she will be 16 years old can you believe it wow I can't believe it. March 15th, these videos will all be going up as far as completion videos. And this is a really big group build. I don't know how many people took part. Lots, lots, way too many to put in the description. So uh, be on the lookout for the USAC United 
scale automotive content creator um, Facebook group uh, build um, so anyway thank you for watching and thank you for your support of my channel you are greatly appreciated um, again thanks to Alan for these awesome wheels that are going to really make this thing pop and um, everybody that supports me uh, sends me things thank you so much don't forget to check out Hobby Nut Models where the paint for this car came from as well as the uh, there's, I'm sure there's something else on here that came from there the seat belts are going to Hobby Nut Models and other things but anyway um, thanks for uh, supporting me on the faith or s thanks for contributing to the Facebook group it's a it's a great resource uh, go check it out uh, the the uh, spring store go uh, grab yourself a t-shirt and to those who do purchase from there thank you so much as well as uh, the patreon group thank you to my patreon members it's a lot of fun getting on there and having those live streams with you guys but that is going to conclude this video all those things I've mentioned are linked in the linked in the description of the video as well as Ruthie's channel, my mom's channel, Chris Callan Auto Art. Go check everything out in the description of the video. And we'll see you with this completed on March 15th. However, there is a however here. Jack's Con is coming up, and that's why I want this completed by February the 11th. Because I want to take it there. So you may get a glimpse of it. If it's complete, you may get a glimpse of it on the table there. So keep your eye out for that video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys very soon on some other kind of video. All right? Take care. Bye.